there you have it. So today on Project Shop, we got some more uh, parking lot lights with all the uh, retrofitting to LEDs going on. There's a ton of these lights. So um, these ones here are like high bays. They were from inside of a, a warehouse. These sat on top of a pole, um, probably in some nice communities, came out of a big parking lot. This one's here got a lot of steel on it. I paid 275 bucks for all this stuff. Got some transformers, some LEDs that already went bad. Some transformers down there. Um, more lights. And then um, some of these are already uh, taken apart halfway. Some uh, need to be completely taken apart. They got all the glass lenses and lamps and stuff in there. Great, starting to rain. Um, I got two hours of time, half an hour driving there, an hour picking it up. So it's three o'clock now. If it doesn't rain too bad, I'm gonna see how uh, long it takes me to break this down and how much money I can get out of it.
Okay, so it started raining on me, but I got enough in here. I got some done. I broke down the transformers. Um, I was waiting for the rain to stop. And uh, now I can get back out here and finish these. Hopefully we'll get all these broke down tonight. These ones here are ones that they delaminate in the machine. Uh, I just throw them back to the side and then that's where the back of this hammer comes in. Okay, I just wanted to go over real quick how I determine whether they're aluminum or copper because some of these, um, you can even tell, like a lot of times you see that real yellow discoloration. I know immediately those are, are, are aluminum um, and I can tell like that one back there, that's going to be a double aluminum one. Some of them are one aluminum, some of them are one copper and um, I check them when I buy them. But when I'm running the machine, I don't check them. I actually just, I can just feel the weight in the coil, okay? Um, so that's a copper, that's copper, that's aluminum. Um, now this one here, um, you would think it's aluminum, and you can actually tell, see the discoloration? It's some of the things you gotta look for. This is actually aluminum on the outside and a small copper coil on the inside, um, which it's worth more money. You can get it apart pretty easy, and I'll show you how to do that. But over here, let me grab this copper one back real quick. Over here, I got a file. Um, so if people that work for me, if they're not sure, um, they can use this file right here and you just run down the edge and uh, you can see right there if it's copper or aluminum. Now, I can tell by sound too, when you're doing that, the copper makes a raspy sound when it digs in there, okay? And the aluminum, it'll make that raspy sound for a second and then it just digs in and real soft. You can actually feel the difference too, like as it grips. It just it just tears right into it. Um, so I can tell right away with that. And then this one here, I'll show you over here. This is it taken apart. Now it's not really much, but when you break it open, that little bit that's on the inside weighs more than that and i'll show you how to open that up here okay so how i did this is i just took my greenly uh cutters let me see if i can get that in view big old cable cutters here and i'll just stick it in there like that There you have it. Now once you have it like that, you can just uh, get down in there with a chisel. And uh, you know, once you get the chisel in there, um, kind of 
work it out. Uh, two screwdrivers will help. Once you there, you, you got to get in the right spot, and it'll pretty much come right out. Okay, another way of doing it is just putting on a heavy piece of steel and smacking the corner until it starts fraying, and then you just peel off where you see the uh, copper. And uh, you look at the end, you see there's a little bit more on there. Just give it a little smack. You can see it kind of separating. And there you have it. Okay, so that was three coils. And um, man, rather than getting like 30 cents, 35 cents a pound or whatever the market is, you're going to get like 240 a pound. Um, so just keep an eye out for it and uh, you know pay attention get yourself a good file to check this stuff okay that's it for that job the last part's done I'm gonna figure um, 150 pounds maybe $300 worth of copper so that should pay for the 275 plus some profit and then that's the aluminum I got out of those transformers and then I got all the lights stacked back up on here and inside of each other um, I'm gonna roughly figure this at about $300 worth of aluminum so um, it's probably gonna be $350 to $400 uh, in profit depending um, about 10 hours 11 hours worth of work so not bad Okay, so these are the numbers for that job. I paid $275 for that load of lights and uh, some there was some loose transformers in there. Um, I'm gonna add $60 to that for food and fuel and wear and tear on my stuff, you know, uh, the tools and um, electricity. So it took me two hours to pick it up, half an hour there, an hour to load it, half an hour back. It took me uh, two days because of the rain uh, the first day I spent four hours, second day I spent five hours, nine hours total processing. It took me two hours to drive it to Miami and sell it, so we got 13 hours worth of labor. Um, we had number two insulated. I forgot to bring on that load, but I weighed it later. It was like 23 pounds at 50 cents. Um, so we had $11.50 of number two insulated. That's from the transformers and all the little wires inside the fixtures. Uh, the transformer copper, we had uh, $420. It was actually like 175 pounds, I think. Um, and I think I estimated like 150, so we're doing good there. The cast aluminum um, was $201.65. The old sheet aluminum was $244.57. There was a lot more than that than I thought. Um, the extruded, the, the little arms on those uh, fixtures, um, skirted aluminum, $22 and uh, 26 cents. Now the heavy steel from the transformers and those big slip fitters um, came out to $106. It was like 90 something dollars in heavy steel and then the rest was uh, light sheet. So we had a total of $1,005.98 in material and uh, minus the cost of $335, we're left with $670.98 worth of profit at 13 hours worth of labor that comes out to $51.61 per hour um, that you can make breaking down those lights if you're efficient um, I've been doing that for like 10 years so I'm pretty good at taking them apart and then uh, here's the ticket now I did bring some uh, bright and shiny in there um, so we got a minus $894.20 off of that um, so the, this was actually last month. Um, it's now like November 11th or 12th or something like that. And also I wanna thank everybody for um, subscribing to my channel. I hit a thousand subscribers. That's a big milestone for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, stay tuned, I got some more uh, stuff coming up and thanks for watching.